to this video. In this video, I will introduce how to use MPI, Machine Passing Interface, on Mac Operating System. Using MPI, we could change the serial implementation program into the parallel program. Here, I will introduce you the serial implementation of a program that counts how many prime numbers are less than or equal to a given input. Then I will parallelize this program using MPI. Uh, first of all, I will introduce you the serial program. Here is the primesserial.cpp file. This file includes the its prime function and the return data type is bool for each given data. We decide it's a prime number or not. We will run this program first, and then I will change it to a parallel program. This function is very easy, and then we just need to count the total prime numbers. Let me run it. Let me access to this folder. As we can see here is my primesserial.cpp file, and then we could uh, compile it and to run it. std equals c plus plus seventeen, and uh, the parameter, the output uh, I also give the same name. Primes. Serial and then the file name primes serial.cpp. Okay, there is no error. And then I could run it primes serial. Here I could try the small number like 1000 to check how many primes in total and less than 1000. Here we found the 169 prime numbers. We can see it doesn't take a long time. But if we change it to a big number, like 1,500,000, then it may take uh, 3 minutes. OK, finally we found the uh, 11, uh, 1, 114,000, 1056 prime numbers, less than 1,500,000. It takes around 3 minutes to find these numbers. Since it takes really long, so we could use the MPI to separate the whole work for many portions. And each process, they could do some work, and then they return all of them to the main program, and then to finally give the answers. It will be much faster. Actually, I have already prepared for the program. Here is the program for the we use the MPI do not use the series I change it to the MPI code here I include the MPI.h file here is our main function the main function first of all I define some parameters and then for this part for the elapsed time is for the start time monitoring and then I do MPI stuff for this part, actually, is for the initialization here. And uh, I use the MPI communicator site and use the MPI communicator rank. Here, I use the number tasks to separate the whole program into many portions. Here, I change the whole task into two to eight tasks. 
And uh, after we initialize it, uh, and uh, then we use the MPI barrier. This one is for synchro synchronization. And the uh, N value, which this one is for the parameters which I get from the from the input, like the one five zero 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 zero. I use the worker and the manager and I use the worker and the manager model to build the MPI program and finally use the MPI finalize to close the MPI and then return zero. Initialize and the synchronize and then the the whole program and then the MPI finalize is the normal flow chart for the MPI program and the, all these functions they are included in the mpi.h so we do not need to write it by ourselves we just need to use it and to know how it works and here it's for the manager and for the manager part and for the worker part the responsibility of them is for separate the work into many tasks and then also statistic the whole result. Okay, let's run it. I also write a bash. Since our tasks could be from two to eight, so we could run it first separately and then to, to specify one task. Let me try to run it. Before you run it, you should install the MPI C++. You should use the blue install open MPI. Yeah, since I have already installed it, if you do not install the open MPI, you, you could use the blue install open MPI in the terminal. Since here I have already installed it, and after you install it, you could check the version. MPIC++ dash dash version. Yeah, my version is 12.0.0. And then, after you have it, then we could run it. We could compile it first, MPIC++. Dash dash std equals c plus plus seventeen dash or and uh, the name we could use the prime mpi and uh, the and then in the end is the file name we need to run it okay and after we compile it. We can see there's a prime MPI file, and then we should uh, we should run it. MPI run dash mp, and uh, we could uh, since our number tasks, number tasks we could give three number three. Just now I mentioned that we could use from the two to eight. Here I give an example for three. And then we could use the dash dash over subscribe and then the execute file prime mpi and the, the second this is the first parameter how many number tasks and then the second parameter is what's the number do you need to use to for this program? Here we could try one thousand first. Here our total number under the one thousand is also similar to the to the series program. Here it's very fast. It just zero point one seconds. You can get the result. Here we can say we use the MPI program. It just takes 0 0.1 second, seconds. We could calculate the total number of primes. And we could get the same answer. And if we, 
if we make the program is larger, like uh, give another to zero. Yeah, it also just takes one point four seconds. Even the even the number is super huge. This number is one hundred fifty million. It's a huge number, but it just takes one point four seconds to get the total numbers, total number of primes. And here I also write a batch program for this one, and we could try different number, different tasks for the for this one. And we can try, we can see. I will I will try to run it. Use the bash dot slash prime and dot bash. For the tasks two, if we just use two tasks, it will take zero point one uh, three seconds to get the total number of prime one one four one five six and if the task is three it's also one one four one five six but the total time is a little bit longer and for task four it's also the total number of prime is also this number and it takes one zero point one three nine it's also a little bit longer and task is five it's longer the total number of prime is same and the task is six seven eight so you could uh, use different uh, number tasks to run the program but uh, all of them they are much faster than the prime series that's the advantage for the parallel program, then the serial program. If this video gave you some help, please subscribe my channel and uh, give me some comments. Thanks for your watching.